Hello and welcome back. So continuing on with our analysis screen here, we want to add a bar graph representing a product's purchases in the last 30 days. So to do that, I am going to be using this data here. All right, I generated this. It's super unrealistic and it's generated from this Python file. So here I'd encourage you to use real data that you have. If you don't have it, then I'll put a link in the description for this dummy data. All right, so you can just grab that and we can work from there. Now, now that that is out of the way, let's add a button here to this box layout. All right, so this is what is going to actually fire our bar plot. Okay, so we we'll just create a button here and we are going to give this an ID of and we'll just call this submit analysis all right and it's going to have some text of view stats all right so i think this is more accurate so view stats and now let's size this so size underscore hint underscore x is going to be let's go with about 30 percent all right now we want to remove this orientation now so that these are in one line all right and now that we have that let's add our box layout which is going to contain our plots all right so a box layout here will give this an id and it's going to be analysis underscore res all right and finally actually i think we are done with this one all right so yep we are done so now that we have this, what we need here is an on release event on this button. So on release and on release, we're going to call root dot view underscore stats. Now, of course, we need this. We need to create this function. All right. So what we're going to do is go back to our admin.py file and we're going to go to the very bottom. All right. Right here and let's define view underscore stats all right which takes self and the first thing we want to get is the product in question all right so we're going to say target underscore product is equal to self dot ids dot target underscore product remember this is our spinner and we want to get the text out of that spinner and now we're going to say the target all right this is going to be target product from the beginning up to target product again go find and where we find the space like that all right so this is going to be the product code basically all right and the name of this product is going to be target product again and this time from target product dot find and again where we find this separator all right up to the very end all right so now that we have that what we need to do is import some packages here the first one we need to import is pandas and matplotlib and then the garden install for matplotlib all right so if you don't have pandas this will be pip3 install and again if you only have one version of python it's going to be pip and install pandas all right so this will start downloading pandas for you after that i need you to install matplotlib so matplotlib just like that pip3 or pip install matplotlib after you have all of these packages you need to install a garden package called matplotlib which is a binding for python's matplotlib basically all right so this will be garden and install matplotlib all right so now make sure you have all of these packages okay especially the garden one so if you say garden list you should have matplotlib now all right so i'll clear this now and what we need to do now is get back to coding all right so let's close this out and up here now let's import all of those packages so the first one is going to be pandas so import pandas as pd and then we're going to import matplotlib so import matplotlib 
matplotlib.py plot all plot. right as plc of course and then finally that kiwi garden package all right so that is going to be from kiwi dot garden dot mets plot lib and this is going to be dot back end underscore kiwi arg i believe and we want to import what is called figure canvas and it's called figure canvas kiwi arg all right hopefully that is it pretty long so i'll just shorten this to fck all right and now let's go back to our function and it's right here all right so now we'll create a new data frame here and it's going to be pd dot read csv and the csv we want to read is this one all right so i'll copy the relative part of this and paste it in here all right so now that we have our df let's get the product codes from it all right so we initialize codes here actually we'll say purchases and purchases is going to be nothing for now and the dates of course for those purchases will be nothing and then let's say we'll say for x in range and this is going to be the range of the length of that data frame all right and then what we want to do is say if the df dot and for for our products purchases here we have product code as you can see so we're going to say dot product underscore code and x so if the product code we are at right now is equal to our target basically and we want to make this a string so let's go back here and make this a string all right so if we found our product code we want to add it to our purchases all right we want to add the purchases to our purchases sorry we want to append here and what we have to append is df to purchase all right and we want to append pages x okay and now we also want to append dates but so what we need to do first is initialize a count here because this is not going to always work for all the products all right so what i mean by that is the first product is might not be the target all right but so if we just use x then the date will be wrong here so we'll just say count is equal to zero and down here now we'll add our dates so we'll say dates dot append and we want to append x all right actually we want to append count sorry and then down here we want to increase count all right so count plus equal one just like that and now we have our purchases our dates and everything is working great so what we need to do now is plot our graph all right so we'll say plt dot bar and the first thing we want to add is our dates all right then we want to add our purchases all right and we of course want to change the color for this and we'll change this to a teal color all right and then what i'll do is add a label to this and the label is going to be the name of that target product we are at right now all right now we'll add some labels here so the y label And this is going to be it's going to be the date pages all right actually it's going to be the total purchase so total purchase all right and the plt dot x label all right and this is going to be the day all right so this is the day that product was purchased basically now we want to sell itself to ids dot and we call this analysis res all right to analysis underscore res dot append and what do you want to append we want to append our figure here remember this we just imported it at the top and we want to append plt 
Good GCF, I believe that's the one. Yep. Control S to save. And now before we run this, every time we run this function, I want to clear our plots. Alright, so say plt dot CLA. Alright. Control S to save and now I believe we're done. So let's try to run this and see what we get. Oops. And I don't have that, so I'll just say Python 3. And it's admin dot pi. All right, so maximize, analyze, and I'll choose a product. I'll choose this one, view stats. And we have a product so is append. Yep, that is because we are supposed to add a widget, not append to it. All right, so add widget. Control us to save. Let's try that one more time. All right, and choose a product, view stats, and this is what we get. Now, this is the problem I'm talking about here. This is not getting cleared, so if I add another one, see if I can add and view stats, and we have a problem. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I think this should have cleared it, but the problem is we are not clearing these widgets. All right. So let's go down here and say self dot ids dot analysis res dot clear widgets. All right. Control us to save and now this should work great. So maximize that one analysis and view stats. And there we go. And if we add another one, view stats, and it's changing accordingly. All right. So that is it for this one. Any questions, leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, like and share this video if you liked it. And most definitely check out the video. The Udemy course, of course, it's only about 11 bucks, guys. So, you know, you can check that out. Learn something new. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.